I said some things that went on Fox News. I said some things about America that were uh, misconstrued. I was uh, talking about American foreign policy, of course. And then I uh, said some things about Dan Crenshaw. What takes really horrible things. Horrible, horrible things. Now, two years after the fact, some of the things I said about brave Mujahideen lost a family member one year ago Thanks are ironically more prescient than ever. Hassle, hassle, hassle. So it turns out I was fucking right back then. Uh, obviously not the best uh, way of delivering the commentary, but uh, love, turns out I was. Love, love, what's up? Pepe Pepe we're we're love, fucking Pepe pulling love, out of Pepe Afghanistan, love, Pepe and the brave Mujahideen are now fucking in charge. So what's up? Huh? What's up, America? What's up, Fox News? What happened? Now, of course, that controversy is kind of similar to the ongoing controversy that I'm existing under, okay? That I, uh, that I am uh, dealing with at the moment. It's not really a controversy. It's a, it's a non-issue, okay? It's a non-issue, but still manufactured outrage regardless. And the very basis, the very basis for both of those problems is because people are too fucking stupid. I'm sorry. Okay. That's what it is. On the one hand, I purchased a house. I'm trying to keep a secret for obvious reasons. I didn't want to get doxxed, but, uh, you know, GG, no re, too late on that. And, uh, you know, it leaked and everybody was like, oh my fucking God, socialist bought a house. Fucking bullshit. Yes, it is Mariah Carey on my shirt. Hassle. So, that was fucking idiotic but it doesn't really matter it doesn't really matter because people are really stupid so they automatically are like yeah that's really fucked up socialist bought a house doesn't make sense socialism means no house capitalism means house he must be a capitalist so and it's the same concept with like the mujahideen or whatever the fuck i was saying with respect to american foreign policy it's like wow this guy muslim socialist guy says uh what he says about 9-11 talks about fucking Dan Crenshaw says brave Mujahideen he must be a supporter of the Taliban I love you chat bitch who's the supporter of the Taliban now huh who supports the Taliban now that very same motherfucker Tucker Carlson literally said that the Taliban don't like CRT and that's why they're they're good like they, he, he implied that they were good Conservatives all around the country are like them Taliban. They got some good ideas. Why don't we do a little bit of ye hide ourselves? You know what I'm saying? Like Happy they're out here boys. fucking doing leftist style memes. Like we got to do critical support to the Taliban. Okay, they're literally unironically out here like like a fucking uh, American Maoist. You know what I mean? Being like, uh, we're, uh, sorry, comrade, we must do critical support to the shining path. Uh, they will lead to Peru. They will lead Peru to the true, uh, you know, socialist trans, uh, transitional state. Like they're like that. American conservatives are like that, but for the Taliban. Comrades, we must do some mutual aid and make sure that we are. Uh, Helping out our brothers and sisters out there overseas in Afghanistan. That's right. All glory to jihad, they said. Well, all glory to jihad, brothers. We must do everything in our power to offer critical support to the Taliban. <laughs> you know, conservatives are really just fucking out here doing that. So what happened? I just got done arguing with someone about how your shirts make you a capitalist. I am converted. You're a capitalist because you wear a nice shirt. Yes. Socialism famously is when no t-shirt capitalism is when t-shirt. Now, look, 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 I've been thinking about this a lot. I've been talking about this a lot, but fundamental misunderstanding among Western leftists who LARP as like, uh, you know, Maoist third worldists or whatever the fuck in America is that they themselves are unironically subsumed and consumed by anti-capital or not anti-capitalist, 
anti-socialist propaganda so much so that they they themselves subscribe to the idea that like socialism means no nice things socialism means no house socialism means like you know you can't fucking be an entertainer and do agitprop and like make money when people want to donate the money to you okay willingly like voluntarily people being like i like what you put out and i'm gonna give you five dollars a month it's not that fucking big of a deal for me okay like that is is a historical like it's not even like all of these socialist motherfuckers had houses and also in the ussr even there was artists it's a fucking idiotic take like it people people on the left doing that idiotic fucking uh right-wing argument is just bananas to me it's so it's so dumb like are you fucking are you uh are you a republican like why are you saying this i have a tweet for you to look at i can't see it it's like am i blocked by this person i think i might be You're a full-time customer service worker. You're a millionaire socialist. Isn't the own you think it is? I've said I've had the same minimum job as Lex, where I've had customers throw out dog food, scream at me, harass me, and have abusive managers. If this millionaire streamer thinks he's a service worker who happens to have a Patreon, is the same as him buying a two million dollar house in LA? No, motherfucker. The point is, the point is how you fucking arrive at those funds. So what? If if her Patreon, if their Patreon, sorry. Huh. <sighs> If their Patreon uh, pops off and uh, a lot of people are a lot of people are fucking subscribing to it, then automatically are they like a bad person all of a sudden? Are they are they exploitative all of a sudden? Like that literally does not make sense. It doesn't make sense. I've never said I'm a fucking service worker. The other side of this is like, what do you guys want me to do? Not fucking advocate for the poor. It's like I was thinking about this earlier today. I was driving over to the doctor, right? Um, and I have like, I have enough money to be able to now, even if I have my back fucked up or whatever, I have money to be able to go to the doctor. And I was thinking about it. It's like, well, I can go to the fucking doctor whenever I want, but I'm still advocating for universal health care and even taxing myself for it. Why don't motherfuckers get mad at me for that shit? Like I advocate for uh, measures against uh, or measures that uh, uh, measures against like the inflation in the housing market and all this other stuff it's literally pure aesthetics it's pure aesthetics like what is the counter do you just want me to not ever fucking uh, I don't know uh, buy a house in an expensive housing market that is uh, uh, that is completely beyond my control why don't people recognize that this is a right wing reactionary line of attack that they themselves have jumped on it's understandable to be upset, okay? Something that I talk about a lot. I'm an incredibly fortunate person, okay? I'm an incredibly fortunate person. Something that I mention regularly, right? Super fucking fortunate. So, like, having said that, when people fucking yell at this stuff, uh, uh yell about, yell at me about this stuff, like, what do they expect? Do they want me to just be like, yeah, okay, fuck it. Like, I'm not a socialist anymore. All right, I won't do agitated propaganda at all. I'll just, uh, you know, I'll just support capitalism. Is that what their expectation is? Like, like there was someone, I'm just not going to tell you who it is, but someone said what I was doing was exploitative inherently because I'm like using the words of black theorists. And it's like, that's such a like i get the fucking anger that people have okay i cannot i i have to repeat myself over and over again by the way shouts out to all power books they just follow me on twitter i know one of the people that started it and i saw one of the organizers that is another one of the fucking uh all power books is in los angeles it's like a it's like a community bookstore they you know educate people they do the theory uh, they're, they're having like a tenants meeting, um, today. I retweeted it earlier. Anyway, I know one of the, uh, I know one of the main people that started it. She used to work. Anyway, I won't, I won't reveal her previous employment. I don't know if she wants that out there, but you know, and she's dope. 
and and one of the other organizers that's like in charge of all power books like was fucking uh yelling about how you know i'm uh living in an expensive house instead of like doing community organizing and it's like just reach out i i help out all the time morty 933 thank you for the 25 good the subs as Q Anthony said, in the absence of imagining an alternative to capitalism, social and institutional ostracism, third way politics and bizarre standpoint culture fills that gap. Yeah. Anyway, so maybe people misunderstand why people follow me. Maybe people misunderstand what I do here. For the most part, I think that like, I've looked through so much. I've looked through so much criticism. Uh, on the internet most of it revolves around like most of it revolves around like why the fuck um wait hold on one second one second Wait, wait a moment. Anyway, one of the one of the fucking main organizers of like all power books was uh, uh fucking yelling about me. And um that's like the closest to legitimate criticism is just like it, it's still the same basically. It's it's literally always the same. It's like why aren't you helping us? Why aren't you helping us? Why aren't you helping us do good in our community and and uh, mutual aid like in our mutual aid efforts? And I do, uh, when people ask, I do help, okay? But like, I'm not gonna fucking drop everything and become a community organizer, you know what I mean? It's like, and no, but people that say, why aren't you helping us? Some of them are fucking right. Like some of them are right. There are a, a fuckload of incredible fucking people on the ground that are constantly helping uh, homeless people that are working nine to fives and then also on top of that nine to five they go out and they help people with uh uh whatever whatever money that they have left right i do something different i do something different than they do but um we do have a strong community um and and we do engage in a lot of fundraising efforts for mutual aid uh, groups and stuff like that um so i'm not gonna stop what i'm doing i'm not gonna like stop fucking uh uh doing what i do and uh making jokes about asses and shit like that and you know talking about cussy and then also doing left-wing agitprop um because this is like i don't care i don't care if you don't find this to be an appropriate way to do anything and I don't really care if you um, personally, if you're outside of this community and you're looking at it from the outside and you're thinking to yourself, like this guy, you, you fucking, you're a piece of shit. Like you're performative. You're not fucking literally out in the street every day, um, handing out groceries to people. Yeah. That's not what I'm doing. That's, that's everyone. Everyone does something different. Okay. But this is arguably an incredibly successful, uh, method of you know, spreading the word, getting the word out and a fuckload of community organizers actually appreciate it. So I don't know why some of the ones that I haven't talked to, uh, are, or some of the ones that I'm unaware of are like fucking yelling at me because I haven't helped them out personally. So, you know, if you reach out, then, you know, why do you always use extremes to straw man? Um, because I fucked your mom and she said that's the best method. Watch them hit you with it. It's not my job to educate you when you ask for cause of support. No, 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 no. Those aren't like, no, man, these are, these are, uh, legitimately good people. They're, they're not fucking dickheads. Some of them are dickheads because they're fucking angry. Remember how I've talked to you guys about, hold on. Casey, on here. Remember how I talked to you guys about in the past? Uh, talk to you guys about how like I understand why trans people are mad because like trans people sometimes the uh, extremely online trans people sometimes have a tendency to come across very aggressive uh, towards people that are like uninitiated because they're in a constant state of attack right 
their existence is constantly being fucking called in the question and they also have like a uh they uh, they they are going through a very fucking tough time so that's why a lot in a lot of instances like you know trans people get very angry very quickly right uh, and it's a normal thing like it's an understandable normal thing like you will never understand it you will not be able to you will not be able to personally understand it because you're you haven't experienced that kind of marginalization and i think that's the same kind of like uh anger that you see from a lot of um activists uh, left order activists that don't just fucking tweet and cry about shit on the internet but like legitimately engage in mutual aid Because they see so much oppression and they see so much um, bullshit and they recognize that there are uh, a lot of, there are, there are so many victims of this uh, horrible system, right? That, uh, that, they, that they deal with on a daily basis, so they get fucking angry. And uh, seeing someone like myself, they see it as like a wealthy excess, a person who has been able to you know, a person who's been able to find success within a capitalist organization of the economy while still espousing leftist values. He must not believe in the principles that he talks about. He's purely performative. He fucking sucks. Like, I'm not going to be able to show them that, like, uh, you know, this is a, a important role to fill. In my mind, it is. You know what I mean? Like, being able to talk about these issues, doing agitated propaganda for a lot of people, like, it's just, it seemingly is very good. That's how you get more organizers. That's how you get more fucking people out there. And, I mean, I do engage in, sometimes I do engage in, like, boots on the ground shit as well, but this is how I choose to spend my time. But I do understand why people are angry. There are some who are legit. legitimately frustrated their frustrations are legitimate it's just misdirected that's how i see it i know you want me to watch the nv contrapoints video i will fucking watch it okay today i'll watch it i'll watch the goddamn nv contrapoints video so that's it. That's that's all I got for uh, left Twitter. I mean, I know I ripped into a lot of people. I still, I still do understand like where they're uh, coming from with with respect to how angry they feel. You know what I mean? If you're look, dude, if you're working at a fucking call center every goddamn day, and then you see someone who's like doing what you would love to do and making a lot of fucking money, and you think to yourself like, oh well, I would be spending my money in a very different way. I would be doing so many different things in that situation first of all you don't know okay and you, you can say that all you want but like don't fucking turn around and uh be like oh you're so performative like you're such fucking bullshit you're bullshit angie speaks is right who the fuck is angie speaks bro who in the ever loving fuck is this person listen you know who i don't want to fucking hear from like dumbass youtubers okay if you're on fucking youtube and you're like, Hassan, he's so performative. Like, suck my dick, okay? You literally are just a petty, pathetic fucking loser because you haven't been able to get to this level of success. So now you're just trying to fucking suckle on the teat a little bit and get a little bit of crumb. Suck my cock. If you have any sort of like criticism towards me as like someone who's a fucking YouTuber, I do not give a fuck, okay? You're literally just, you're a YouTuber. You're doing the same thing, just not as successful. Which is part of the reason why I also got mad at uh, uh, the, the Lexi person, right? Part of the reason why I got mad at the Lexi person originally was like, oh, fuck, you have a Patreon. Like, what, what do you mean? Like, you're literally trying to do the exact same thing. Like, I get why you'd be angry, but don't act like this is a, a betrayal of principles or shit like that. You know what I mean? Shut the fuck up. And... Yes, my fucking fits are bad, okay? I don't give a shit. I hate whenever people... I hate whenever people are like, Dude, this is such a bad fit. Yeah, I know, dude. Okay, I know. It's not good. Everyone goes through the fucking... 
everyone goes through different phases all right well, what do you what is this an own suck my dick 